Hi there, I'm David Katzmeyer with CNET, and with me is the Panasonic TCP55 GT50. This is a 55-inch plasma TV. This is Panasonic's second best series of plasma TVs for 2012. The series also comes in a 50, a 60, and a 65-inch size. This review will apply to all of them. As Panasonic's second best series, this TV does include uh, quite a bit of bells and whistles. The principal one is THX uh, video processing, so if you put this thing in THX Brightroom or THX Cinema mode, or when you're in 3D, THX 3D Cinema, you get a pretty good, almost calibrated picture without having to mess with any of the picture controls, so that's the real benefit of this TV over the step-down ST50 series. This TV's styling is also a little bit slicker than that one. It's got a nice thin bezel around the screen here. There's also a sort of chrome uh, accent around the very edge. So all told, it's one of the nicer looking plasma TVs we've seen. We're not big fans of the uh, stand, however. It does have this sort of weird two-tone look to it. Of course, hang this thing on the wall, that's not a problem. Panasonic includes plenty of inputs. There's four HDMI around back in addition to a PC input and a component video input, although you need to use breakout cables for that component input. There's also a smart TV suite on this TV. We do like the design of that smart TV. There is plenty of uh, video services available as well, including Netflix, Vudu, Amazon Video On Demand. So all told, the content selection is very good. There's also this Viera Marketplace that Panasonic uses to uh, get other apps and things. And we do find the quality of those apps are a little bit better than some of the other competitors out there, although there aren't that many of them. The GT50 does have plenty of ways to adjust the picture. There's this custom mode that allows you to go in and play with the two-point uh, grayscale as well as a couple gamma settings. It doesn't have the 10-point full-color management system found on the step-up VT50, however. Picture quality on the GT50 was superb. It's really one of the best-looking plasma TVs we've tested this year. Almost as good as the VT50, but also at the same level of the ST50, which is a little bit less expensive. That does bring up an interesting question. If you're in the market for a Panasonic plasma TV, whether you get the GT or the ST, this one is a little bit more expensive. The only real benefit is that THX picture setting, but when we went in and calibrated the picture of this TV, we found that we could actually get a better picture than THX using just the custom settings. So all told, we do recommend the ST50 for for most people. You do get the nice deep black levels of this set as well as the accurate color. There's also a very good uh, ambient light rejection filter on the screen, so if you have some bright lights in the room, it's going to perform a lot better than a lot of the other plasmas out there. Of course, compared to LCDs, you also get the benefit of excellent off-angle and screen uniformity performance. So again, excellent performer, but just not quite as good a value as the ST50. We also took a look at the 3D performance of this set. It is a 3D television. Panasonic does not include any glasses, however, but 3D performance is pretty darn good as long as you leave it in the THX 3D cinema mode and turn it to 48 hertz, which actually eliminates some of the crosstalk we saw in some of the other picture settings. All told, though, a very good 3D performer. That's a quick look at Panasonic's TCP GT50 series, and I'm David Katzmeyer.